Lately it feels like I'm stuck in a daze My mind is amazed Just like a quarterback I'm making plays Girl you were a phase You couldn't stop playing all your games It drove me insane You just took all of my love for your gain I'm done with that pain Alright, what is up guys? Brown Sugar here. Uh, so, it's going to be kind of another different video. I mean, it's more serious. So, how this video is going to be broken up. So, this is obviously the more current Brown Sugar. It's, uh, I'll tell you the date right now. It's July 8th. I'm looking at my phone because I have some screenshots that um, I'm going to have to get into deeper in the video because uh, our favorite idiot got, you know, tried to falsify his fucking death for sympathy. But, um... Yeah, so the second half of this video is going to be Remy and I just talking about his, like, Lorenzo, you know, reaching out to Remy and, you know, his constant unblocking and blocking of Remy and trying to contact and be like, yeah, yo, stop your account because just no one cares. It's like, Lorenzo, are you a fucking idiot or are you just a misogynistic piece of shit? Because obviously people care about fucking sexual harassment. Obviously, if I made a video and there's over 200 views, which I didn't expect a response, I just wanted to fucking... May just get a message out there. There's obviously some type of interest in there, you stupid piece of shit. But it's okay, dude. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this through there because you don't have any fucking. It seems as though you don't have the mental capacity to comprehend the right from wrong. Or I mean, you probably do, but you're just a stupid piece of shit. So I'm just gonna tell you what you're, what everything you're doing is wrong, and what the fuck, everything's wrong here. So disclaimer number one. I've said this in my other last videos. Listen. If anyone, I'm looking in the camera, but my microphone's here, so it's kind of like at an abstract angle, I'm not going to lie. But, um, fuck, if anyone feels that they need to take their own life, please, before, please, and I urge you, please, before you ever, you try to take this action, try to reach some type of remedy for the situation, try to reach out for help, whether mentally, or try to find a friend to talk to, just other means. It's just you have one life, and you should truly live it. To the fullest and try to fully enjoy it because god gave you one life i'm sorry i'm not even a religious person but i mean i've almost died twice and i'm gonna be honest i'm fucking glad that i'm i still have my life to fuck around and troll i mean i know i'm gonna go to hell when i die but i, I know thank god that he gave me two more chances to fuck around all right so i'm gonna be thankful for that anyway so that's just my own but we're just going to get into it. I have my phone. It's not because I'm disinterested, obviously. I'm looking at some screenshots that I'm going to be pulling up. So, obviously, he started, apparently, allegedly, he was going to get, he was getting threats of being jumped. I don't, I can't confirm. I don't really know or care. Um, but what's fucking, what I do care about is this fucking piece of shit, as you can see, uh, tried to falsify his death. He randomly put Rip, Rip Lorenzo 7-4-2020 and then saying best big brother i ever had his 13 saying that's from his 13 year old little sister also he posted on his story unfortunately i did not get to screenshot that i saw it though because remy gave me a call i saw also a comment being like did you check his story yeah i've seen it trust me i'm informed if you're wondering where i've been these five days i've been fucking researching this piece of shit all right <laughs> i've been the, i've been fucking dealt in my cave hibernating fucking letting this guy self -incrim incriminate himself for being such a stupid fucking piece of shit that wants to fucking literally fake his own death for sympathy and against allegations of like like that's how you want to get away away from these allegations bro he you couldn't even last more than four days then without fucking proving that you're alive again you fucking idiot you're such a fucking moron dude oh all right let's go so as you can see for respect our family took down his instagram pictures all right he's also getting accounts such as exposing long island and the lorenzo bad biddies uh, taken down but anyway as you can see i see some inconsistencies because I, I number one if you died he posted this like i don't know how his little sister i mean maybe i tried to give him benefit of the doubt i really tried because i don't know how your little sister 13 year old sister instantly got access to your account and she also i'm hearing lives in florida i mean i can't confirm that but I'm, that's what i'm fucking hearing but i and then this just we're just gonna break how would she have access and then she get he gets called out for this he's also following and unfollowing people randomly which i mean bro you're apparently dead why do you how do you have time to fucking follow how does your sister have time to like cho choose your fucking follow ratio my man um yeah so let's see he also allegedly popped up in a fucking group chat i'm gonna put that up there uh lorenzo's bad videos rip your account and then he also Here's another thing that Lorenzo's bad videos post. He used, which I found the account, 
this fucking dumbass used his backup account, which is literally followed by him until he unfollowed it. It still follows him, but he literally used it to fucking try, to basically make the template. He also deleted, like I said, I'll put that up, he deleted it once people called him out for like his little sister thing, he deleted that out of the bio, which is, hmm, hmm. Someone calls you out, you instantly delete your story and the bio of it, saying you're for your little sister? Hmm. Uh, that's fucking suspicious. That's fucking suspicious. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna go look at this fucking rest in peace, Lorenzo. Last words, don't blame it on yourself, mom and dad. He also put it on a date, 720. Bro, July 20th has not happened. That's, I mean, that's the lightest thing of this stupidity. But uh, don't blame it on yourself, mom and dad. It wasn't your fault. You did everything you could. Or my sisters, I love you. Bro. Bro, it's fucking sick, bro. You really would go to this fucking extent for fucking trying to reach for attention, you piece of shit? This is what you, you really, like, people suffer from mental illness and, like, actually, like, suffer from conditions where they really feel as though the only resort is that they need to take their life. And you're fucking making fun of it. And that's fucking disgusting. You're such a vile piece of shit, dude. You're literally like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep going, dude. You're basically like making light of it, and that's fucking just—it's uh, heinous. Like you're fucking grotesque, dude. You're repugnant. There's so many adjectives to describe how much of a repugnant individual you are, dude. And it's just fucking—you need to get help or go to jail for you can't. I'm also hearing you're not only—it's not only little girls that you're harassing. You're fucking harassing little boys, which I mean, bro, you just gotta stop harassing children and people that don't want anything to do with you. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, we're gonna keep going into this. Okay, we're gonna. So here we have another fucking. I have to keep diving through the uh, screenshots of my phone right now. So here we have a fucking blurry thing, which I mean, I don't know why it's that blurry, but it says because Lore from Lorenzo on Snapchat says I told everyone I died. I can't confirm this is real, but this is a post from the the homie story, the Remy story. So I told everyone died, so I have hundreds of messages and shits, bro. I haven't opened none. I just saw your Instagram DM and got horny. And typed, he typed horny three times, which is, I mean, he also put an E in there. I don't think horny has an E in it, but okay. Uh, that's the light, that's the lightest of our problems. Listen, oh my god, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he also, apparently messaging some other people, there's another thing of him harassing a girl. I mean, I don't know if when this was, I'm just gonna put it up, because, I mean, it's just more evidence of that he's a sick piece of shit. But, uh, yeah, here's the thing. Right, he's been unfollowing, following people, yeah. He never really gave me that many, like, confirmed signs. But I was just gathering as much evidence as I could. But here's the motherfucking big whopper. Our, 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 everyone's favorite dumbass, um, fucking... Literally, today, my man really couldn't last four days, like I said, without fucking... More than four days without making a post on Instagram. Man's changed his fucking thing to Arabic. I don't know what language that is. I'm just saying it's Arabic. It just, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I sound ignorant. I just don't know. But I translated it on Google and it literally says, or not Google, but it, you know, with the fucking C translation thing on Instagram. And it literally just says, do good in life and life will do good for you. Bro. And he fucking, somehow he has, he put his, changed his profile picture. James, he's back. He's basically back for life somehow. Somehow, Rip Lorenzo. Besides the inconsistencies of him just putting July 4th, you know, not putting his actual birthday, which is our huge problem, or his full name, which is uh, what we wanted. Uh, just like false, basically making this false ass template and basically just popping out of nowhere, making a post saying, almost add me new people on Lorenzo Blake. Like, are you? F oh, my fucking God, dude, you're such a fucking disgusting, vile, attention-seeking piece of shit, and I hope you fucking listen to this video. I hope you realize what the fuck you were doing wrong, dude. I'm gonna look you in the fucking- Dude, hop on this fucking platform, but- Or I'm gonna keep burying you in the fucking ground with these videos. With, bro, I'm not afraid to use my fucking platform to speak against the fucking disgusting shit that you're doing. We gotta make a counter for how many times I say fuck, I realize. But, <laughs> but, um, jeez, dude. You are a fucking disgust. There's another one. You are a piece of shit that I fucking avoid, that you avoid stepping on. You're a piece of fucking dung. You are pond scum. Get the fuck out of here. If you, if fucking, you just, Thanos snapped out of existence, the world would be a greater place, dude. Unless you get some fucking help, you stupid piece of shit. Stop making light of people that actually suffer from fucking trauma where they actually feel as though they need to dig the one option of that they need to kill themselves, which is 
So, oh my god, dude, it's so fucking aggravating. It's I'm literally I'm livid right now at you. I I really hope like I I want you to watch this video. I know you most likely have. You're such a stupid piece of shit, dude. Here's two of these. Fuck you, Lorenzo. Fuck you for trying to make light of suicide and trying to pop out and post all your shit up, acting as if you're just like as if nothing fucking happened. The, it's not gonna fucking just wash away because I'm here. I'm brown sugars here and Remy's here to call you out for your stupid fucking misgivings. Not even stupid for your fucking vile and disgusting actions. I've, I'll see you guys. And hopefully you enjoy the second half of this video. Fuck you, Lorenzo. You piece of shit. Rolling. All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Remy Riley. How the fuck are you doing today? I'm here with Brown Sugar. What's up, baby? Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, baby. <laughs> What's go. up, everybody? So last night, I was just chilling. I was sleeping. And then I wake up this morning to a bunch of texts from our best friend, pedophile Lorenzo. Oh, by the way, look at my nickname on Discord. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I might what have to say. No. Okay. I just realized I had to blur out this man's name because that's a YouTube privacy thing, but it's fine. Is it actually? Yeah, if you give a full name, what? it's not YouTube privacy. But don't worry, the brown sugar has the editing, so it's fine. Oh, word. Brown sugar just got that shit. I yeah. have the fucking blurring right. thing, so I'll, I'll just blur it. I'll... Okay. So, okay. So he goes, so one of my friends actually went and contacted his family from Mexico. Lorenzo is half Mexican. And, and he goes, Yo, you really texting my fucking family from Mexico? Not me. The people you've harassed. You, who gave them that info? You think I have the capability to do that? You fuck, bro, and your account. Give up. You're sad. No, lol. <laughs> because no one cares what you post. Really? Yeah, I reported your account. Ooh, I'm so scared. Lick my taint, you fucking cuck. You shoved the banana up your ass. Once you stop preying on children, I'll stop posting about you. You're mad just because someone actually stood up to you, boyo. Cool. Fuck you. I will bring you down. I am the shadow where there once was light, and I am the freedom fighter for all of those who you have assaulted and harassed. Er, gay. Bro, you literally shoved the banana up your ass. Shut the fuck up. No one fucking cares. Know your fucking place, trash. <laughs> What's going on with the banana in the ass right now, bro? Lorenzo had a gay face. And, uh, apparently there's a video of him shoving a banana up his ass. And I really hope I get that video. I, I mean, really listen, bro, if it. you're, I mean, do you, but bro, you can't go I mean, listen, shoving listen. bananas up your ass to preying on little girls. That's, uh, kind of concerning. Oh, the, the fact that you're shoving, uh, members of the fruit family in your anus is kind of concerning. And, and I said, I said, so we, we got some new information. This, uh, I'm not going to say her name, this is anonymous. Somebody came to me and said, yo, Lorenzo isn't 18. He lives a town over from me, went to my school. He's 21, and the whole reason why he got kicked out of school. He tries to say he's 18 when I yeah, confronted I him post. about me. Knowing he was 12, he said, don't, tell, don't say shit. I tell people I get held back as a senior. I swear to fucking God this man needs help. Lorenzo is 21 and has five criminal offenses. Please get this out and stay safe. I don't know the the truth behind yeah, all this. I don't this, know the legit, but I, I, I will read, and you can screenshot the posts that I yeah. that I have here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one day last summer, I was on the boardwalk, and he was up there. He looked sus, but at the time, but I didn't know who he was. It was like 11 p.m., and he was following me home. When I got to the end of the boardwalk, I confronted him and called the cops. And then he posted my address and shit on this snap story and twisted everything on me. After that, me and my friends started doing extensive research on him, not even trying to sound weird, but we found out a lot of shit about him. Jesus, and then this was, I, post, I post memes about Lorenzo, too. So this is Lorenzo when his mom and dad take away his phone and you can't harass yeah, kids. I saw those. It's just not fair. So let's just quit it. <laughs> it's Joe Exotic. I saw that one. I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so... I have his phone number, and I really am not afraid to release it, because this guy just needs to shut the fuck up already. 
I have 227 followers on this account. I really do. Yeah, you have 228. Um, no, it says. 28? So you got one more. Anyway, yeah. And, it says so, yeah. I may take legal action, honestly. <laughs> no one. I'm going to give Nathan's dad. He's a lawyer. But, um... Brown Sugar, you can talk a little bit about your thoughts on this, and I'll, I won't talk. About that whole situation? Well, listen, bro. The fact that he keeps unblocking you like I texted you, the fact that my man keeps fucking, number one, blocking you, and then keeps unblocking you to DM you... <laughs> And be like, yo, no one cares. Yo, stop, please stop, stop doing this. It's like, obviously, you're on his mind. And obviously, um, it's coming out. His family's being really weird about it. I feel like if my family was... Obviously, if my family is fucking, was confronted with these types of allegations and I was doing this type of fucking disgusting, vile type of shit, they would definitely, like, one of my cousins or any, any member of my family would get on to me like this. So it's like, I don't know what the fuck type of beat they're on. I don't know what abstract type of time they're on. They need to get their shit together, I'm going to be quite frank, but... That's about it. Yeah, I feel you on that. And I think partially, I, I think, in my opinion, I think some things just he's not just gonna stop no he okay? needs to fucking get help he needs to actually realize what the fuck's wrong he needs to see what's going on get it through his thick yeah. fucking skull cause like stupid ass reasons like yeah stop doing it cause no one cares it's like bro like you're telling me no one cares about sexual harassment you stupid fucking idiot oh jesus exactly exactly and that's the thing that's, that's like one of the dumbest fucking it's like are you, are you a fucking know, like, idiot or, or are you a fucking moron Exactly, and he doesn't know right from wrong, and that's the sad part. And I think if we tried to reach Lawrence, out... Like, hop on the to... fucking platform already. Show me your birth certificate number one. I want to oh, see yeah. it. We and, won't and post we it. Want, I want to see it. We want I want to fucking certificate. see it, and then I will let people know what, not your age, but what's going on. What the hell's going on there. Yeah, we want the birth certificate a, we want his birth certificate, okay? And B, we want his parents on the fucking call one day. We want his fucking parents. I want Lorenzo, Lorenzo Blake. Blake. No, Lorenzo, I want you on this fucking live. I want you on this fucking video as soon as you can. Because until we get you on there, you are a pedophile. You are a fucking pedo. You are a predator, bro. I need to hear some, like, fucking answers. We'll even, we're gonna, we gotta get some of the victims on here, too. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, to fuck, I'm gonna fucking call him on his Instagram. Ready? No, no. I'm, see how that I'm calling him on the Instagram. It's exclusive right now. Hold on, it's, it's ringing. I don't know, if, I don't think he'll pick up. I really don't uh, think he will. Everyone's, I think he's too much of a pussy, too. I, I keep dealing with people that are too pussy to fucking answer or admit to what it they're says, doing. It says, it says contact. Yeah, he didn't try. I'm going to call him again. Let's see if he picks up. He's such a fucking cringe master, too. He posted a video of him of him boxing the other day. Yeah, I saw And he was like, so I was like, bro, you're so skinny. Like, you're not going to, like, I, listen, I want to fight him. But I can't because I'm not gonna hit somebody with mental illness. I'm just not. I'm just not going to. I really am not fucking doing that. And I'm gonna sound like a fucking piece of shit for saying I want to fight him. But at the same time, you just want to punch him in the fucking face. Like there are two hundred and three bombards girls with text messages about how much he wants to fucking. He wants the disgusting. Oh, I can't with this guy. Yeah, dude, he, he wants to. He wants to fuck them, and they're underage, and he wants to just hurt. I have his address. Okay, I know where he lives. I haven't gone to his house. Okay, because that's just fuck. Like, listen, this is a this is a this is a clip between him and I. Listen. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna go to the fucking cops 
you don't stop harassing people, dude. I heard that. Like, I'm so badass. It's every fucking day I get a new testimony from, from somebody, Lorenzo, and they tell me that you would fucking harass them sexually or otherwise. Oh. Dude, I have fucking hundreds of people testifying against you. You do are going to go to jail if you don't stop this shit. Because I care about getting you help. Yeah, you fucking do. You're preying upon children, dog. Sixteen, Lorenzo. You're eighteen. No, I'm talking about people that are thirteen. Oh, you literally? I swear to God, he's a fucking liar. He's a fucking lying piece of shit. Because I caught his ass on a fucking lie. I caught his ass. And he doesn't like it that I fucking caught him. Trust me, I've dealt nobody, with people like that. Listen, nobody is brave enough to do the things I'm doing. Nobody is brave enough. Nobody will go up against him. No one. I'm the only fucking person... That's actually doing something about this. The only fucking person that's standing up against him. And it's just bullshit. I like how he goes, the first thing is he goes, why do you care about my life so bad? It's like, that's the first thing. It's like, why should you care? It's like, bro, like, why your justification goes from one thing to like some other stupid thing. It's like, you're... It's like, Jesus, you're such a fucking idiot, dude. I, Lorenzo, I want you to know you're a fucking idiot. You need help. And I don't need help. Uh, if you think a fuck smashing a fucking 12-year-old girl, I think of a 12-year-old girl in any type of sexual manner is okay. And when you're, like, 18, I'm hearing 18 to 21 is your age range. You're fucking sick. Listen, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be honest thing. with you. Okay. I'm, I'm 18, okay? As an 18-year-old, I have dated somebody that was 16. But that yeah, but was that's... under parental consent. Their parents loved me. Her parents fucking loved me. And they liked it. They were okay. We never had sex or anything. And we never did, like, a gross shit like that. We were just together and we would hang out and date. But it wasn't, like, to the extent that he is talking about. Listen, you can find shit about me. I'm a piece of shit. I've done some fucked up things, okay? Not gonna lie. But the things that he's doing is just gross. I fucking completely, I completely agree. Dude, he just needs to fucking qu- quit it. Alright, uh, yo, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. No worries. Uh, that was it. Thank you yeah, guys for watching. Uh, peace out, guys. See you guys in the next video.